Hi there. This is a quick session on how to fix one of the most annoying problems with Office 365. Office 365, I think it's a great system. It provides uh, amazing email and SharePoint and link and all that sort of stuff for an incredibly competitive price. Um, it's something that I'd recommend to any small business from a one-man band all the way up. It really is a great package. Um, all of our clients I'm recommending it to, I'm helping them install it and um, everyone seems to love it. So that's all very good. However, it has one major flaw, which is a thing called winmail.dat. Um, Microsoft, in its infinite wisdom, has done a setting by default that means that people that don't have Exchange and people that don't have Outlook um, often can't read your emails. And instead, what they get is a thing called winmail.dat. And it's just a, an attachment, no message, no, no attachments come through properly. You just get this silly attachment called winmail.dat that nobody can open, so they can't receive your emails. Um, it especially happens with Mac users um, and sort of POP3 accounts, um, the kind of free, account, free email accounts that people use. So you can fix this, but it's a complicated set of commands that it took me a long time to find. And therefore, I thought I would quickly show you how to do it so that you don't have to hunt all over the web and you don't have to read huge documents that Microsoft provide. So what we have to do, this is a Windows 7 machine. And so we go on to start. We type in PowerShell. And what we have to do is we have to run this as administrator. So instead of clicking on PowerShell, we right click on it and we do run as administrator. OK, and that's brought up PowerShell. Um, now you have to do this series of commands. You'll find these commands um, on YouTube below the uh, below the video. So you can cut and paste them. I'm just cutting and pasting them from Notepad um, to paste in a PowerShell you use right click. So I've right clicked the mouse there. So we reply yes. This allows us to do unrestricted commands. Then the next one will ask you for your Office 365 administrator credentials. So here you type in the username and password for whichever user is your administrator user on Office 365. Okay, so we've now validated ourselves. We then start a session to connect to our Office 365 account. There we go. Then we do this command, which I have no idea what it does, but we do it. Okay, that's worked. And then finally, the magic command and what this one does, you can see it's TNEF enabled. So TNEF is this funny um, protocol that Microsoft use in order to send emails. And it's the protocol that these other um, mail systems can't read. So we have set for all remote domains. So any anybody that's not using your domain. For, so anybody, anybody outside your organization that receives email will not get it in this TNEF format. And that's done. You probably won't get this yellow message here because I'm getting it because I've already done this once before so it hasn't actually changed so and that's it and after that if you send your emails to somebody who's outside your organization it should all work fine hope that helps someone